Hello and welcome to Social Media Weekly, 18th December 2018. Social Media Weekly is brought to you by Virtual Peddlers Marketing, the digital marketing agency that helps small businesses go digital. My name is Sean. Yep, and I'm JK. And Reha. Eugene here. This week, new privacy blow up at Facebook. Another one right before the year ends. Okay. Yep. What's new, right? <laughs> you need a full Facebook, da. Facebook. We list. We list the top hashtags on Instagram for 2018. YouTube releases update or uh, updates on their efforts to remove offensive content. YouTube updates CTA overlay and it looks pretty good. Facebook looks at its metrics to predict next year's trends. And Adidas works with Snapchat AR lenses. Let's users try on shoes. Digital shoes. Digital shoes. Back to the stories. Facebook privacy blow up at a uh, new privacy blob at Facebook. Facebook just announced that there was a bug in their API that allowed third-party apps to access all their photos. These third-party apps refer to the apps that we approved before using like games, trivias, uh, those things like best nine kind of stuff. Um, so what it does is it allows the apps access to all our images on Facebook from posts, stories, and drum roll, even images we post but never share. Wow, draft posts. Huh? Yeah, draft <laughs> posts. So uh, this bug ran between 13th to 25th September this year, and it was discovered and fixed on 25th of September. Uh, Facebook actually went on to further elaborate that photos shared on Messenger was not part of the leak, but if we had photos that we wanted to post during that bad connection, you know how sometimes you want to post some photos, your connection is bad and you decide not to post it. Uh-huh. Yeah, those oh, get those to. But okay, like at least yeah. it already like QC by our eye already before yeah. it goes yeah. out publicly. But, <laughs> but what is what is uh so so the first thing that that worries me is uh private photos, right? Maybe you post the photos for yourself, but you don't want to share it out. Or like, like close friends. Yeah. Only for certain people can Only see Only for certain people. Uh, and most importantly, stories. Stories is supposed to be ephemeral. Hours. It's supposed to be a 24 hour thing, but apparently it's stored somewhere in Facebook server and people were able, the, these apps were able to access all the photos we do in there. Next Tumblr. Next Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> you? Mm. Alright, so, so now, top hashtags on Instagram 2018. Here they are. Most used face filler. Filler, blah. Most, most, most used face filter in Instagram stories. Heart eyes. Most used GP stickers on Instagram stories. Heartless sticker by Arata. Number of times was used in comments. 14 billion. Happiest geotech location in the world. Highest use of in the caption. Disneyland Tokyo. Top niche community trainer, ASMR. Highest growth hashtag community, hashtag Fortnite. <laughs> Top fandom community, BTS. What's BTS? Is BTS that Korean band? Is BTS that Korean band? Yeah, it's I think so. BTS army, yeah. We didn't follow already, we're quite old already. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, just Google. Okay, it's, it's a Korean cool. one. Yeah, Korean. And uh, top dance oh, movement was the In My Feelings challenge, the one where yeah, it's a Drake song, the one where they just the car, I mean, the car moves slowly, was it? Yeah. I don't the think it was the one where the car moves. No, it's not that one. one. It's it's another one. That, that one didn't even make it to the top. This one is it. It's it's this 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 kind of I, I don't know. It's like it's some weird. It's a Drake song. It's a Drake song. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Top advocacy has Shaq, Me Too, or one point five million. Times up for 597k. March 4. What? March, March 4. Lies. Lies 562k. I don't know what Times Up is, but I know Me Too is that movement against um, um, with sexual, sexually abusing women in the workplace. Okay. Uh, so it was a very, very big, it was a very big movement uh, spilling on from from which region to which from 2017 region? until 2018. It actually started off in the US, but it went on to all around the world. I see, okay. And uh, March for Our Lives is the one where, uh, it's also in the US where people, um, there were there were a few people, crazy people who went into schools and taking sh- guns and killing people. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So th- this thing has been going on for a while, but what happened, what changed was that instead of a politician coming out and starting a, 
uh, a campaign, campaign against uh, this control. yeah uh, for for gun control yeah. because the politicians wouldn't do it. Yeah. A bunch of kids, school kids, actually came oh, out and really. started this campaign. So the hashtag was March for Our Lives. Well, it's much more genuine and relatable when you know the creators are. True, because because closer. because the politicians dare not do it because uh, the NRA, the National Rifle Association, was a big funder for Donald Trump's campaign back oh. in 2016. So you know when someone pays you so much money, you know what? Yeah, there is a, there is a back end agenda. Whereas these kids, you know, they have nothing to do with them. <laughs> no, hashtag politicians. That's, this yeah, this you know, is politics. Move, There's, There's so many restrictions. The in, in, in Google search. You didn't come over. Not anymore. The search has done died down already. Yeah, it has died down. Yeah, well, let's not talk about Donald Trump. Let's talk about YouTube now. Alright. YouTube released update on their efforts to remove offensive content. Just last week, we talked about Google CEO Sanda Picard's <laughs> commitment, to, <laughs> commitment to clean up YouTube and this week we had an update from them. Between July and September 2018, YouTube have removed 7.8 oh, 7. million million offensive. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> 7. 8 million offensive videos 81% of them being detected by machines 78% of those detected by machines never saw a single view when they detected that certain channels are dedicated to posting videos that contain violence of children uh, sexual exploitation they immediately banned them they also removed 20, 200, 200. 2.4 million <laughs> comments for violating their community guidelines. We just hope that YouTube AI can start identifying kids' video with violent sub, 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 subliminal messages. Subliminal <laughs> messages soon too. No. No. <laughs> the you know you know what are those those kids' videos with sub, subliminal messages? Subliminal uh, like you, you should be do your kids watch YouTube a lot? Like those kids' videos? Yeah. So there was a time when, I don't know if, if this is still in YouTube, but there was a time when when kids would watch a uh, very seemingly harmless kids' video. You know, you have a lot of oh, like kids' the, video. The, the, the three friends kind of. No, no, not, not happy three friends kind of stuff, but it's like really, really kids' stuff. Okay. Really, really kids' yeah. stuff. Like, okay. um, just those, I, I don't know, what are those top videos that the kids would watch? Dory. Why is those recent videos? Uh? Those, uh, Dora, do they, do, do they watch those episodic cartoons, like little kid cartoons with two animals chatting with each other, going through their, their everyday lives and stuff like that? No, they don't. They don't. So, um, so what happened is in, uh, YouTube, right, you get these things where, um, the videos will start off as harmless videos because the parents would 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 find uh, would would choose for them right, uh -huh. and then YouTube would suggest the next video and the next and the next and the next, and it falls to this weird little place right where you have cartoons that, if the parents would look at it at first glance, it's it's still the same. It's those polygon cartoon characters, mm -hmm. cute bears and everything like that, but the story is weird. It becomes like um, it becomes darker, darker in the sense that. You would have characters that will fall and die, get hit by a car, then got blood everywhere. And then uh, you have some characters that also, uh, for example, their bodies and their heads will keep switching around. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's a saw, bit weird. I saw those kind of things. It's a bit weird. And then there is another one where there's a story that, that talks about uh, this guy made his friend, which is a girl, pregnant by just touching the stomach and she got pregnant <laughs> and then right after a while then she got unpregnant again so it's, 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 it's very weird so so, so this, kind of, this kind of weird stuff and this stuff the ai cannot detect grasp as um as 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 violent or, or you know because there is no lang there is no there is no code language to say how to how to send these things this reminds me of a children book about the balls on you remember Sally? Sally what? 
Sally and the ball playing the ball. I'm playing the ball. Do you want to play my ball? Yeah, it reminds me of Sally. Sally the children book. Really? Sally the children book. Yeah, it's like it's like. Now you're doing school. Google is 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 uh is them bizarre. It's like yeah, I don't like it's those kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like I don't know what what. Uh, if she see the hairy balls or yeah. something like that. Do you want to play my balls? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> the the, the, the title of it is... It's just funny. <laughs> it's like, then, uh, can I play with your ball? Can I team? Then she says no. Something about putting the balls in the, in the mouth and like... Okay! <laughs> can I play with Trump? You, want, you can play with my ball and you can have Steven to play with my ball too! <laughs> so, <laughs> so it becomes, yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it was so all it, over. It became a ball fest. Well. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so because of this, right, I started watching YouTube videos that talk about sub, uh, subliminal messages in cartoons, and I stumbled upon the one which I shared on Instagram story this morning. Megatron yeah, from so, Transformer, so, yeah. right? He's a gun, right? He's he's transformed from a gun to a robot. Uh-huh. So the gun the gun's barrel where he shoots the gun is on the right hand. Mm-hmm. But guess where the trigger is? The trigger is right where between the legs. So there was this cartoon uh, uh, there was this cartoon frame that says, um, hurry up, star scream, I see uh, I see what's what's the good guy? Uh, I see Optimus Prime. Yeah. Pull my trigger. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so, so the coming frame was there, he was there, and he's pointing the gun over like to somewhere past the, past the box, right? And Star Scream is in a near near corner, and there was a trigger really nicely <laughs> drawn right between the legs. So yeah, how's that for some little lesson? Because we grew up with this kind of stuff and we don't even understand. Sometimes I think they do it backwards. But actually, <laughs> actually, you gotta say about dark, right? All oh, our nursery room also went dark. Yeah. I know, yeah, right? Like, 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 like Dumpty Dumpty fell. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 So they can put Dumpty Dumpty back together. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. And, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and if you were to watch, um, if you were to watch SpongeBob as a kid, uh-huh. you will see different things compared to if you watch it as an adult. <laughs> because yeah. there are so many things between the lines that that that. You know, it's not so. It's not <coughs> obvious enough with your kids. Especially kid. Simpsons, uh, Simpsons, is Simpsons like, as well. Robot. Even Sesame Street. Come on, Bart and Ernie. Who would have thought they were? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's up to a point where you are older, then you realize that oh. they must have a relationship with each other. <laughs> yeah. They stay together. So yeah. And then the thirty topics I was. Teletubbies. <laughs> all, all, all I know is, is in order to extend production line, let's replay the video a second time. <laughs> That's all. I don't know. Like, what? All the episodes, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Right? <laughs> I also don't know what they're doing. Do your kids watch Do your kids watch Teletubbies? No, I banned them. Okay, I banned them. I banned Teletubbies. I banned Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. Okay. Bunny. 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 Good now. Previously, YouTube used to stick uh, black bars that creep from all corners. They are old, ugly, and literally look like something that was built in 1990s, which could very well be the case. They have just announced that they will be replacing those CTS hovers with a properly built bottom bar. The bar will be white and it will have a nicely cropped logo on the far left, some headlines and description and a yellow bubble that says ads. On the far right, it will be a big blue button for CTA. This is YouTube's uh, effort to bring its UI to the TV and uh, smart screen era. So this is this is big and and it's it's hard to imagine how it took so long for YouTube to actually start doing this because all those all those annotations, all those little bars that mm. come from all corners, those mm. black bars with yeah. stuff. Mm. It's it's just two 1990s. <laughs> yeah, it's well, they are so going ugly. And and they still have they still have they still have uh what is this called? Those captions and headlines with 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 an underscore 
And then when you click it, it turns blue. You know those kind of like GeoCity standard kind of thing. Those hyperlinks. Maybe they are going the classic thing, I don't know. No, no, no. no, no. Um, this is them changing it, which is uh, which is kind of in line with what we're going to talk about later when it comes to TV. Um, mm, okay. the, whole, the whole smart TV mm-hmm. era that is starting to mature into something that is usable. But uh, it appears now that more and more people are watching YouTube from TVs mm-hmm. and they can't they can't yeah, right. they can't interact with those CTAs when they are watching mm-hmm. the TVs as much, or they don't because uh, a full fledged TV is how you just sit back, sit back and consume. Yeah, you don't interact with it, mm-hmm. right? right. Um, but YouTube is doing that and hope to polish up their UI mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right, next up, um, Facebook looks at its metrics to predict next year's trends based on the metrics throughout the entire twenty eighteen. Facebook was able to plot potential emerging trends for the coming year. They are broken down based on seven categories, which are beauty and fashion, commerce, mm-hmm. entertainment, food and drink, mind and body, science and technology, and travel and leisure. Notable trends include selfie selling under commercial, the commerce category. In it, Facebook predicts that influencer marketing, smart TV, and social shopping will see growth in the coming year. Yeah, uh, so, Influencer marketing will also continue to see uh, growth as brands start to actually understand how to best implement it as a more of a brand awareness thing rather than uh, ROI, KPI, mm. um, return thing. And uh, social shopping is in a sense that we are talking about uh, online shopping, mm. also using uh, platforms like Etsy, Fave, Groupon, mm. this kind Shop of uh, yeah, this mm. kind of social shopping, and smart TV as well, right? Mm. Um, how how is it that they are seeing the implementation be done? Is it going to be through a TV and then instead of making a call, they can... Uh, there is few call to action which I will talk about it later. Lah. Okay. Well, you, you can talk about it now. Uh, there's a drive action. <laughs> they, they basically, uh, three funnels, the usual brand awareness, consideration and okay. conversion. So you can actually select buy on your website take an action on your website, call your business, can visit your, your business, install your mobile uh, app and also engage with your mobile app. Those are the actions that they can do with it. Okay. Okay, so you watch through the TV but your engagement happens in a mobile app which is separate from your TV. It's quite redundant though. I don't know how it works yet because it's still in a beta mm, version. Yeah. Because uh, this whole because I think only recently TV start having YouTube on the uh... actually they have always had it they've always had I mean my smart TV is like four or five years old and it has YouTube mm-hmm. mine also got so, so it's actually very <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so but TV is just not smart <laughs> but, <laughs> no but I the, but the question now is the question now is as people are moving away from using TVs mm-hmm. right I think what they what they refer to as smart TV is you know those smart home screens like yeah. Facebook uh, portal, uh, Google Home has that Google Home hub with the screen. Mm-hmm. So now, now it's like that that voice assistant that comes with the screen. Mm-hmm. So that screen will be where you watch YouTube, where you what, uh, where you do Skype calls, um, and I think this will be where you will probably interact with um, oh, yeah. with the shopping the shoppers la. the commerce uh, section as well. I think so. This is just. Because all the articles are quite vague, right? It's like yeah, it's, it's this it's, and it's that. Because it's just released in October and it's still in beta. I just saw it like a couple of weeks back. I don't know. Mm. And then they introduced things like a uh, light box display app, which is very new. We should click on it, then it expand, then there is videos and stuff like that. Mm. So it's uh, pretty new as of now. We don't know how it really works. Okay, um, cryptocurrency will also receive increased attention. Uh, this comes in the form of Locking more of blockchain technology rather than just the currency itself as a speculative medium. We know that a lot of um, a, a lot of companies and a lot of industries are adopting blockchain as a way to to ledger what things are going and how encrypt, how to track how to encrypt everything. So I think that will um, they, Facebook thinks that that will be a that will be an ongoing trend in, nine, in the 2019. Mm. Another prominent category is accessible adventure, which is under travel and leisure. It relates to specifically glamping, mm-hmm. which is glamorous camping. camping. 
um, yeah. which means that instead of going camping, you go into a place that is like the camp really set up. Uh, for you. Yeah, the tent is set up for you. It's, it's very high up. It's set up for you. You have a bed. You have yeah, the camp is big. All the, the stuff and everything. Then you have a special tent which is a kitchen. So it's literally just taking the hotel into the woods. <laughs> um, Via Frata. Via Frata is uh, is an adventure thing where there is the peak on a mountain, right? You actually you are attached to a set of lines on the the side of it, and then you go down, and then you just traverse the side of the mountain peak. So that's Via Frata. So you just go around. Circular. Yeah, you just go around. So which is I know him. The good thing about Via Frata is you are able to actually have a very very nice unblocked view of of the mountain range. Okay. Uh, instead of getting stuck in the woods, so that is one thing good about Via Frata. And zip line, uh, zip line is just like um, um, I want to say Firefox, but flying fox. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, a, like, that's a zip line. Yep, that's yeah. These are the up and coming. I don't know what to make of that, but yeah, bro, well, in Malaysia lah. <laughs> well, uh, glamping is big in Malaysia now. Via Frata, uh, Mount Kinabalu has a very famous Via Frata route, mm. which is good. And zip lines, it's a team building mm. thing, lah. Like everybody does that for team building. Oh well, okay. <laughs> Next, is it me? Yeah. You. Okay. So Adidas works with Snapchat AR lenses. Let's use this try on shoes. It is happening. So what you do is Adidas just launched a bunch of AR lenses that allow users to test out their new lines of shoe virtually. All you have to do is hover the filter over your legs and shoe will appear. Too bad we don't have this feature in our side of the pond yet. Yeah, it'll be quite cool. Lah. That's, that's why I actually went and checked out Snapchat just now just to see if we have filters, but we don't yeah. have them. So I suspect that it's a localized uh, marketing campaign for the US. Mm. But it'd be nice because you know how Snapchat already has those uh, um, those AR functions where you can mm. plot something and then it grows and it becomes smaller, yeah. those dinosaurs or whatever. Mm. They can actually map your foot and then they can slap a shoe on your foot. Like, it's it's like, oh my god, this looks good. Yeah, yeah, you see the design. It looks like left and right. Low. Yeah, yeah. Then once you see it, then you might just share. Hey guys, what do you think? Is this shoe? Yeah, and then you just take a picture and say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you purchase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Snapchat, the Snapchat has the, the click uh, straight purchase media function, like uh, Instagram. In I the US. think in the US, yeah. They are working they they are working with Amazon on this. Okay. They, you go directly into Amazon uh, site to buy. Well, would you? Uh, I wouldn't know. No, it, it, it shortens the purchase the purchase the purchase to near steps far. Huh? Like you see it, you should click and go. Because for me, I still need to test it whether it's comfortable or not. True. Um, yeah. but but this is like uh, this is more to what is this called? It's a proof of concept. Mm-hmm. In a sense that let's say because Sephora is really doing this mm. with makeup and IKEA yeah. is doing this with furniture. Mm. So um, it's 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 one thing to see the yeah. colour, but it's another thing to see the colour on your face. Yeah, yeah. And it's one thing to see the furniture, but it's another one to see it put up on, on your on your living hall. Mm. I think for IKEA and makeup it's it, it makes more sense. But when it comes to clothing, it's uh mm. I how to say it's I, like how to say it? okay it's like it's like you still see a demand when people buy clothing in e-commerce mm. even though they didn't get to shop yeah, it they're, yeah. they're still buyers yeah. so it means there will still be people who will buy but at the very least I think it will help speed up the decision making like for example like for example if um, if before you go to the to that Adidas sure. store, right? Yeah. You just check it out first to see if you like it, then you go there and you test the specific model. I'm sure you purchase it. Yeah. So it, it, and and, it cons- and from Snapchat's point of view, they are just interested in the virality of yeah, things. Yeah. Like, you know, the shareability yeah. of their content. I think they're only interested in that. Yeah. Imagine if you just do that, you take a video and you go like, oh, look at my shoe, it looks nice. Yeah, imagine you know? if the technology uh, next time is like, the shoe appears <laughs> in your place, then you test it, and then suddenly yeah, after, yeah. after like, yeah, after one party. minute, <laughs> after one minute, it disappears again. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah. They got, they got count now, man. Promotion starts now in 10 seconds, it's <laughs> Oh my god! 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 What's the card should you pay with? It be so dangerous, man. I <laughs> want to get your promotion now. <laughs> it would be a great idea, though. Imagine, like, like if literally it can appear, I say, 
I said I will buy it. <laughs> well, it, it can appear. Oh, look, someone I'm knocks on your door and says, here's your test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, the, the technology Actually, is the it same. may, because now it's, it's this, okay, if you think about display, people display things through screen. Mm. In future, probably, probably it's projected. Yes, it's projected yeah. using like lights everywhere. Yeah. Like, you set up somewhere, you just stand there, and then everything just project there. You look like, okay, mm-hmm. I want this, 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 this. Hey. <laughs> swipe the link, swipe, swipe, swipe. It's like it's like how you set up an account for for Ragnarok. Or you set up an account for, for some for some game on maybe yeah. you want a dress, so you have a line of clothing and say you swipe, I want this, and the one, the one. Okay, this one I want. So it reminds me of the hairstyle also. Huh? Yeah, hairstyle you change as well. Yeah, you change as well. Yeah, same thing. It reminds me of Steam also. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah. So yeah, movie goes the direction, ma. Yes. It's so yes. cool. So the idea is to be able to do that, right? So that you don't have to go to a physical retail shop to make a purchase. So the malls will die. Huh? There is <laughs> no lah, they will probably malls will turn into a warehouse, you know. It's a it's a multi-purpose warehouse <laughs> concept. No warehouse for item. Speaking of which, right? Um this I don't know if you guys know, but since a while back, South Korea has this uh, pretty interesting concept of uh, grocery shopping mm-hmm. while you're waiting for the train down at the subway, right? Mm-hmm. All that the glass is all lined up with an advertisement board. Mm-hmm. And they have all the groceries like Kai Lana, Sibatoya, everything like that, right? And then they have a code, they have a QR code down there one. So you open the app, right? You just scan, 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 scan everything you want. They put in a cart, you buy, by the time you reach home, they those things arrive as well. Good. Yes. Oh, it's so amazing! Let's haven't, haven't do it. Let's do it. Malaysia, <laughs> you ask. Uh, it's it's delay a long time. They can purchase it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's such an amazing concept because it's up time. Because yeah. it's like you don't need a supermarket with a frontage. Mm. All you need is a storage, mm. like what you say, right? Mm. Just a storage, mm. and some people who just like bag mm. the stuff and send it I out. Know where we should start it? We should start with Singapore first. Yeah, <laughs> train always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they are always there, the underground. I right? saw so everywhere can put screen, right? Yeah, Malaysia, Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna pan trip and uh, then, <laughs> then, yeah. then we'll go. Then we'll evolve to the part where it's like, uh, have you guys watched Minority Report the mm-hmm. movie? No. Yeah. Where wherever you go, there's an ad that comes out that says, "Hi, Eugene." You haven't gone facial for two months. Would you like to take up this special promo for 20%? Oh, I swear to God, I'm so pissing off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't block you. Go <laughs> <don't know. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Going> away. <laughs> <laughs> it's like aggressive salesman like right? that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's the pop up. Click on. This is how it follows you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, yeah. um, that's all for this week's Social Media Weekly. Uh, this is the last episode for Weihan. Yeah. Sayonara. Behan will be having two weeks off right before you start the new place. Uh, one and a half weeks. One and a half weeks. Uh, yeah, if, if you feel free, you mm. can just drop by either Tuesday mm. or Wednesday depending where we have at, when we have SMW. Okay. Then you can always guest host yeah. with us. Um, while we're at it, um, good luck in your adventure and thanks a lot for spending how long were you with us? What, a year and a half? Two years. Two years. Yes. Wow. Two years. Yeah. I think the sea of face for two years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, no, well, technically no, because you were never around. We <laughs> always said a half year. <laughs> we always made up with Kopi Tiam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We always go to Paris. And then we decided to shift to Ota and he had diarrhea. Yeah, every yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, it was so freaky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, Social Media Weekly Podcast is available on Anchor FM. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more. Our full videos are available on YouTube, and we post bits and clips on Instagram and Facebook. That's all for Social Media Weekly, episode 18, December 2018. My name is Sean. I'm JK. I'm Rihab. I'm Yujun. Au revoir. Bye.